freezing cold Russia and red hot romance are coming to Broadway with the new musical, Dr. Zhivago. We're here at Celsius overlooking the Bryant Park skating rink to get a peek of this new show. Wow, they made a musical out of Dr. Zhivago. Are you excited? Excited's not the word. I'm peeing myself. It's amazing. <laughs> a lot of people know Dr. Zhivago as a super long movie from the 60s. <laughs> what else should they know? Well, you know, so my, my, my kids will not watch it because it's too long. It takes place over the first few decades of the 20th century during the catastrophe of World War I and the Russian Revolution of 1917 that was devastating to Russia and changed Russia altogether. But ultimately, it is a story about five people. Three men in love with one woman and two women in love with one man. People didn't know who to trust and people were turning at each other and there were spies and it um, it was very complicated. So being in love with somebody at that time wasn't as easy as you think it would be. Why do you think we're going to fall in love with the story of Lara and Zhivago? Well, I mean, yeah, that's a long, boring movie from our point of view, but everybody did many years ago. They'll do it again. People my age are very familiar with the novel and the David Lean film, and hopefully they'll, you know, we're going to introduce a whole another generation to a beautiful, sweeping, epic love story. It's a great love story. It's a timeless love story. In anything, it's been very a long time since we've had a, a really passionate love story with life or death consequences. I find that exciting and sexy. So are you ready to be dashing and like the, the love hero? And I'm trying today. I'm trying, yeah. I mean, I've got a way to go to get the Omar's level, but um, you know, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying my best. What about your fashion? Are you excited to wear like Russian fashion? When I got the role, I called my mom and the first thing she said, she was like, oh, there's gonna be so many furs. And I was like, yeah, I do. I have a muff and I have a hat and a fur coat. It's great. I love a muff. Who doesn't love a muff? What about uh, developing chemistry with Kelly? Kelly, your, your onstage lover. Well, Kelly's great. We got on really well. Um, I was lucky enough to do um, audition with her actually uh, a while back, and we, I felt like we had a really good connection and, and spark in the room. We, I don't think we have to work on it at all. We have so much just like natural. I like him. He's generous. We joke around a lot. I think with something like this, it's it's not necessarily the cheeriest piece in the world because there's a, there's so much darkness around it but ultimately we've got the, the love thing that goes through so we're trying to keep it fun as well he's always trying to buy my food which makes me really angry because i'm a very independent woman I don't that's for gentlemen i'm my own woman here that's right i keep telling people that it's they're like so what's the what's the show like and i'm like it's gonna be epic it's gonna be pretty epic 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 the novel is epic and the the movie is epic and it's just an epic story this is gonna be there's going to be snow on stage. What's going to happen? I'm pretty sure there's going to snow, be snow on stage. I'm not telling you about the snow. You're not going to be without fire on stage. I hear there might be snow, maybe some fire on stage. They're, they have spared no expense. If you're going to go for it, go for it. It's called Dr. Zhivago, so you need to go for it, I think. And the music is so great. It's supported by great lyrics and supported by such a, you know, quite possibly the best love story of the 20th century. Fire, snow, and love. Wow, I'm in. Yeah, me too. So tell me the truth. Did you actually read the book? Okay, here's the thing. I read it cover to cover and I've done the audiobook. I'm in the middle of my third time reading that book. I tried reading the book and then I tried again. And then I decided, okay, I'm just going to read the pages that have my name on them. Don't lie, have you actually read the book? Yeah, I'm halfway through. <laughs> and that's the truth! And then I felt guilty and I read the whole book. I did. It was a feat, but I did it. I'm doing really well. I'm doing really well. So what's the goal, like opening night? Uh, opening night is my goal to finish it. Yes. I'll be checking in with you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs>